Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be talking about what I picked up in my out and about from yesterday, Tuesday the 13th of uh, September 2022. Today is Wednesday uh, the 14th, however, as of the recording of this video. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's let me show you what we picked up. Um, if you guys have seen any of these things, any of these movies, feel free to comment uh, below and let me know uh, what you thought about them or whether you picked them up. What, whatever, let me know what you picked up that maybe I didn't, and uh, maybe I'll and why I should maybe have put picked it up. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. Let me show you what we found. Um, I did I, yesterday. I hit Walmart. Best Buy, Target, and Amazon, of course. Uh, I tend to pre-order a lot of stuff nowadays from Amazon just because there's no way to trust the uh, physical media stuff in the stores particularly. But, uh, yeah. Um, and Amazon, they're good about giving me the, uh, for example, one of these movies uh, changed in price by almost $10, and they, they gave me a credit for $10. So, uh, yeah. I'm happy about that. So I didn't overpay. So the first one up is a Walmart exclusive, apparently, uh, at least for right now. Evidently, this uh, will eventually come out in a two-film or a three-film uh, pack. But as of right now, it's out on the single of Paranormal Activity Next of Ken. Now, this is in the uh, Paranormal Activity universe, but... Apparently, it doesn't have a lot to do with any of the first films. So, Next of Kin is R-rated from 2021. It's 98 minutes long, and it is the seventh film in the series. Uh, but apparently, it's not the last. Evidently, there's another one in the works also. Um, I always I like the first and the third, uh, from what I'm recalling, the most. Second wasn't really my favorite, one of my favorites. But uh, I can't wait to check it out. I, I enjoy the, I've enjoyed this. It's very creepy. I like the creepy stuff. Um, yeah. So, oh, this originally aired apparently on uh, Paramount Plus. And uh, it's good that they're coming out in physical form. So I appreciate that, Paramount. Good job. So Paramount Activity, Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. The newest, most terrifying installment in the Paranormal Activity universe is an altogether different experience in horror from producers Jason Bloom from The Conjuring and Orrin Pelly from Paranormal Activity. Margot, played by Emily Bader, who, in, who also did Charmed, is a documentary filmmaker looking to meet her long-lost mother and extended family in a secluded Amish community. She and her film crew soon realize the family that welcomes them into their home might be hiding a sinister secret. There you go. Looks interesting. Um, I'm trying to cut back on these the uh, uh, DVD stuff, but uh, when I see stuff like this that's really only on DVD, I like to pick it up. So uh, there you go. Paranormal Activity next to Kim. Speaking of things looking interesting, um, this one's all for, that was from Walmart. This one's from Walmart also. Look at that. A Shudder original, The Seed. Eye-popping alien insanity. Um, this, this cover alone uh, intrigued me. Got me interested. Has a nice little slippy dip there. Um, the seed is not rated. It's 92 minutes long from 2021. Of course, it looks like and probably is a body horror, um, comedy, sci-fi. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, so society meets a cosmopolitan photo shoot, says Paste Magazine. Three lifelong friends finally get some time together away together in the Mojave Desert, right down the road from here, using an upcoming meteor shower to gather more followers for their social media, media channels. But what starts out as a girl's getaway 
quickly descends into a battle for survival with the arrival of an invasive and irresistible alien force. Before long, the situation devolves into a battle to the death. This is released by RLJE and Shudder, of course. They're doing a lot of this stuff. I have a whole section of my collection. Just these Shudder originals. The Seed. We'll see. Maybe, may not make the shelf, but we'll see. All right. Your fate is sealed. <laughs> Blu-ray. I did pick this one up from Amazon. Tin can. That looks creepy, and I'm kind of a claustrophobic kind of a person. Claustrophobia <laughs> is real. Anyway, uh, I wouldn't. I don't know how I'd deal with that. But anyway, woman wakes up in a steel can. Uh, it's not rated. 104 minutes from 2022. Sci-fi horror, and it's a Canadian film, apparently. Quite the mind blank, eye for film. Body horror at its disgustingly finest, says Wicked Horror. As the world faces a deadly plague, humanity's hope for a cure lies with a scientist who awakens imprisoned in a metal chamber. She desperately works to escape her con confined cell, to save the last of humanity. Some special features, director, producer, writer, commentary over the film. The Last Bell Does Toll, the making of Tin Can. Music video, The Last Bell Does Toll. Another music video. It's put out by uh, Epic Pictures. Tin Can. Let me know if you've seen this, guys. Um, looks interesting. Looks interesting. Body horror, I like. Well, next up, this is the third of these that I've picked up. And the first two I have just thought were really amazing. So I had to get Eli Roth's History of Horror, Season 3. What Screams Are Made Of. Eli Roth's History of, History of Horror. Now, they have not said there's going to be a fourth season, but... Uh, I can't wait to get into this one. I love the first two really deep, deep dives into, uh, into the horror genre. Um, this is uh, four hours and 12 minutes worth. Of course, it's a TV series that uh, played on AMC uh, from 2018 through 2021. About 80% of the people that have watched this series like it, so... New season dissects some of the most twisted films that shaped the history of horror. Award-winning director, writer, producer, and actor Eli Roth hosts some of the incredible talent behind the horror films that have seared themselves into popular culture. Season 3 covers themes including sequels, infections, psychics, apocalyptic horror, holiday horror, and mad scientists and features, features interviews with Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, Gina Davis, Quentin Tarantino, Tino, Edgar Wright, Rob Zombie, and many more. With some special features, horror actresses, the apocalypse, and pandemic films. Put out by AMC Studios. If you guys have seen uh, the first two seasons, let me know what you thought of them. Uh, just really good. Uh, I can't, can't complain about that at all. Now, those were the new new things that uh, came out, a couple of them. Those were all new. Um, this one, not not new, but one of my favorites. One of my favorites, and it's now on 4K. That's right. I picked up the 4K and digital code of Friday the 13th. Of course, Friday the 13th is from 1980, 95 minutes long. There are now 12, there are 12 films in this series. 12. Um, apparently on this, there are two versions, the theatrical and the uncut version. I'm a big fan of Camp Crystal, big fan of Camp Crystal Lake. The, the setting is just amazing. I love that kind of a setting, the atmosphere. Of course, uh, who doesn't like Jason Voorhees? Quite amazing. Let me read the back. Makiki, makiki, makiki. <laughs> 
the terrifying first Friday the 13th that launched the iconic horror movie franchise, comes to 4K. The thrills start when the new owner and several young counselors gather to reopen Camp Crystal Lake. Years ago, a young boy named Jason Voorhees drowned, and a series of vicious murders occurred thereafter. Despite locals' warnings that the place had a death curse, the new crew continues to relaunch the camp. One by one, they find out how unlucky Friday the 13th can be, as they are stalked by a violent killer. For those who dare for an extended scare, both the unrated and the theatrical cuts are included. Um, yeah. Let me know. Do you like the Friday the 13th series? I love it. So, excited to see it in 4K. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to see some good stuff, some very bright pictures. Next up, another oldie but goldie. Uh, not as, not as, uh, I don't like this one as much as that one, but the atmosphere in this is amazing. This is the steel book of The Fog 4K and Blu-ray, The Fog. Um, of course, this is uh, uh, R-rated, 1980, of course, 90 minutes long, supernatural horror. Um, this is put out by Scream Factory and MGM. So as crispy chilling, <laughs> when the fog rolls in, the terror begins. This moody horror classic from the master of terror, John Carpenter, and producer Deborah Hill, Stars Adrian Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Atkins, uh, Hal Holbrook, and Janet Lee. Don't get lost in the fog. The sleepy seaside village of Antonio Bay is about to learn the true meaning of the word vengeance. This seemingly perfect town masks a guilty secret, a past steeped in greed and murder. Exactly a hundred years ago, a ship was horribly wrecked under mysterious circumstances and a thick, eerie fog. Now, shrouded in darkness, the long-dead mariners have returned from their watery grave to exact a bloody revenge. As you guys know, I'm a huge revenge person. This one is creepy, very atmospheric, and I'm excited to see what they do with the 4K. So, And there are a bunch of special features on here. A dual, new Dolby Atmos track. I'm excited because I uh, just recently updated my uh, audio to Dolby Atmos. New restored original mono track. 4K restoration by Studio Canal. Audio commentary with writer-director John Carpenter and writer-producer Deborah Hill. And audio commentary with actors. Um, new Dolby. New restored original mono track. Lots of neat stuff. Studio Canal and Scream Factory. The Fog in Steelbook. Nice. Now, um, I picked this. Yeah, Best Buy. Um, I haven't seen this one yet. and uh, But I do live in Vegas, and this man lived here for a long time. And did a whole lot of shows here. That's right, Elvis with uh, Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. So Elvis is now on 4K. It's PG-13, 159 minutes. Man, that's long. It's almost three hours long. From 2022, it's a biographical, of course, biopic drama. Um, King of Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley. Did you know that he was the he is the current still is the number one selling solo artist? Elvis. This epic drama explores the life and music of Elvis Presley, as to, seen through the prism of Presley's complicated relationship with his enigmatic, enigmatic manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Some special features: Bigger Than Life, the story of Elvis. Rock and Roll, Royalty, the music and artists behind Elvis, Fit for a King, the style of Elvis, Viva Australia, 
recreating iconic locations for Elvis and Trouble, a lyric video. Warner Brothers. Nice, nice, nice little slippy dip here on the 4K. And all of the releases, the DVD, the Blu-ray, um, this 4K here, all of them have different artwork on the front, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, if you've seen this movie, let me know what you think or thought. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to check it out. Me and my wife will probably watch this one real soon. So Elvis, a Bayes Lureman film. And my last pickup from Best Buy also is the Best Buy exclusive version and the limited edition version of Lightyear. Disney Pixar's Lightyear. Of course, this is a spin-off from uh, Toy Story. This is the Steel Book. Uh, I kind of like the uh, the other the uh, slipcover versions a little bit better, but uh, I like this. I, and I'm you know into the 4K Steel Books, so uh, glad to, glad to add this to my collection. Uh, Lightyear is an uh, PG, it's 105 minutes from 2022. Um, this, of course, was a box office bomb. So, and uh, but I do like Chris Evans. I've heard, I've seen the trailer and all. Uh, Chris Evans did a good job on the uh, voice. So, let me know what you guys thought. Disney and Pixar's Lightyear, the definitive origin story of Buzz Lightyear, voiced by Chris Evans. The hero who inspired the toy follows the legendary space ranger on an intergalactic adventure alongside a group of ambitious recruits and his robot companion, Socks. Let's open this up, take a look, like, see what the uh, case art and all that looks like. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh, man. So the J card. J card. An absolute winner. <laughs> I'm excited because the animation on 4Ks, it really plays well. So I'm excited to check it out. Let's look at the front. There you go. About all the interference. And there's the back. Code. Somebody's interested. There you go. As Disney Movie Rewards also. Okay, let's pull these out. Nice buzz and and socks. Yeah, there you go. If you guys have seen this, I haven't seen it yet. Let me know what you thought. I mean, did it deserve all the negativity it's gotten at the box office? <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Put these back in here real quick. We'll finish up. So there you go. That's what I picked up on my out and about yesterday uh, on the 13th. Next week's another big week, so I can't wait to get out there and see what I can find next week. Um, if you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, or you're missing out because every week I give away something. And this week is no uh, exception. I'm giving away a brand new factory sealed 4K Ultra HD of the Minions, The Rise of Gru. Um, so all you got to do is use the word trouble in the comment section on the video from Sunday. That's the video that uh, has the giveaway in it. Go back to that video, 
use the word trouble and subscribe. You have to be a subscriber and you have to live in the United States to be eligible. So uh, if you're interested in picking this up for you or your kids and a shout at it for free, I'll send it out free. So it doesn't cost you a penny. So that's the advantage of subscribing to the Geriatric Geek weekly giveaways. And I do have a couple more things to give away. So stay tuned for that next uh, Saturday or next Sunday. I'll, I'll show you what that is. So you guys keep smiling. Keep having fun. Keep that positive attitude. Keep it in your, you know, right, right there. Keep that positive attitude. I, you know, I can't express, express that enough. That uh, a positive attitude will take you a lot longer, a lot farther than a negative one will. So, hey, that's it. You guys have fun. Until next time, peace.